In this video, we'll review the critical components of a syllabus for an online course. An online syllabus needs much more detail than a syllabus for a face-to-face -face course. Think of all the information you typically tell your students that first day of a face-to-face -face class. All that information needs to be explicitly stated in your online syllabus. A well-written syllabus can be an effective tool for decreasing the number of questions you receive from students. Reduce student anxiety about an online course and help students to stay organized. A thorough and clear syllabus can help to meet many of the Quality Matters standards. Let's review a template of an online course syllabus we've provided for you in Blackboard. We encourage you to copy this template and revise it for your course. For your course, you'll need to change the items that appear in red. For example, you'll enter your course name and number along with your contact information. Notice that office hours are still needed even in an online course. Some online faculty prefer to have set office hours each week, while others prefer the on-demand approach that's described here. We've listed some potential mediums for holding office hours, but you'll need to revise this to list the tools that you prefer to use. Some of the text in this template is self-explanatory, so let's review the pieces that might be different than what you might be used to in a face-to-face -face course. Since an online course doesn't have set meeting days, you'll need to enter the specific start and end dates of your course. If you are planning on having any face-to-face -face or synchronous sessions, you'll need to note the date and time of each session so students can plan ahead. Typically, synchronous sessions are not required and students can view the recording of the sessions instead of attending the live sessions. Please note that any required synchronous or face-to-face -face course sessions must be indicated in the course scheduling system so students are aware of the requirements before registering for your course. Since you aren't expected to provide technical support for students, listing the contact information for the Student Help Desk provides students with the resources they need to solve their technical problems. If you scroll down, an item that you may not typically include in a syllabus for a face-to-face -face course is your response time for grading. This is sometimes the informal information you give to students during a face-to-face -face class. If you state your goals for grading assignments in an online course in your syllabus, it can help to reduce the number of messages you'll receive from students asking about when their work will be graded. While we've listed a one-week turnaround time here, revise it to describe your workflow. In an online course, it's important to explicitly state your communications policy. In the syllabus template, we've set the requirement that students log into your course at least three times per week to check for any new announcements. Additionally, you need to include your response time to emails. Many of us, including students, have grown accustomed to almost instant responses from our emails and text messages. Explicitly stating how long it will take you to respond to student emails can save you from receiving multiple emails from students because they think you missed their original message. Set the response time to what's realistic for you while keeping in mind the needs of your students. Typically, the response time for an online instructor is between 24 and 48 hours. You also need to explicitly state your expectations for the style and tone of student communications, such as discussion boards. In the netiquette section, the template includes a few generic expectations, but you should revise them so the requirements are appropriate for your course. For example, will you require that students write in a professional and formal manner in all their postings, or are you comfortable with a more informal style? Whatever your policy is, just be sure to include it in your syllabus. Another item that helps to clarify expectations is the time commitment for your course. Although there may be no regular class meetings in your online course, students are required to do the same amount of work in an online course as a face-to-face -face course. This means a minimum of nine hours per week for a three credit, 15 week course. Stating this information in your syllabus can help to clear up student misconceptions about online courses. In the participation section of the syllabus, you'll notice there is information about discussion boards. If participation in the discussion boards is required in your course, be explicit about your expectations for the quality and quantity of the student post. What is listed here on the syllabus is a good starting point, but you may wish to also include a word count range for initial posts and student replies. Your online syllabus should also include the technology skills and technology students will need to participate in your course. 
Clearly, students will need the ability to use Blackboard since that's where they'll access and submit course materials. If your course includes a Collaborate session for a class meeting or office hours, then students should have a computer with a webcam, or at least headphones with a microphone. If students are expected to submit documents, you'll need to specify the type of software they'll need. The most common requirement is a program that can save as a Word document or as a PDF. All Rutgers students have free access to Google Docs, so they can use that to create a file and save it as a PDF. We've also provided you with a template for a course schedule as a separate document. You may decide to include in your syllabus a detailed schedule like this one, or you may decide to keep it as a separate document. One advantage of keeping the schedule as a separate document is that if you need to revise and repost your schedule, it's easier for students to download one document rather than the entire syllabus. If you revise your schedule and would like to reduce confusion, be sure to change the last revised date on the schedule and the name of the file. A thorough syllabus and schedule for an online course provides students with clear expectations and requirements for your course, which can help provide a solid foundation for student success.